It's common for leaves to change colour as seasons change, of course, but in Utah, residents are being understandably surprised to find their snow is turning pink. Scientists say it's not due to dirt or dust, but snow algae. You've heard, don't eat the yellow snow. But what about watermelon snow? Well, I hope it's not toxic because we have our dog here. Visitors at Tony Grove Lake in Cache County take in the peculiar sight. We thought it was some of the red dust blowing onto it. Also known as glacier blood, pink snow, or snow algae. Never heard that that could happen, so I was, from a technical perspective, interested to see that. This year, there's a pretty huge amount of snow algae, and basically all the folks that I know that have been in Utah for a long time that work at ski resorts have been kind of blown away by the scale of the snow algal blooms. It's caught the curiosity of Utah State's Dr. Scott Hotaline. He says ingesting it isn't a major health problem, even though you probably shouldn't. He's studying whether these blooms are becoming more common, and if they are, how that could increase the future snowmelt rate. We want to get a finger on the pulse and to know what's happening and start to keep a closer eye on it. The dark pigmentation makes it melt faster than regular snow. Dust also brings the same effect. Compared to other big snow years, the snow melt was really quick this year and dust definitely played a role in that quick runoff. It was a record breaking year. There was more dust deposited in the snow and there was more dust deposition events than we had ever observed before. Whether it's dust or watermelon snow, these researchers aren't so much concerned about these elements entering the water supply, but instead whether Utah will face a more rapid runoff in years to come. It's really important to forecast the timing of snowmelt correctly um, because we don't have much reservoir storage. So we want to be able to use that water efficiently.